Provincial Works Manager Charles Barner says the 160 million US dollar will be used for site works, which is the first phase, then the hospital buildings, which are the second phase, and the third phase of staff housing. However, medical equipment is not included in the budget. Bana said medical equipment alone can cost approximately 60 million kina. He said the first phase of the construction is vital for connecting and installing medical equipment before the construction of the actual building. The Australian government through DFET has helped with 7.5 million Australian dollar to buy medical equipment. Assistance from uh, partners, friends, uh, so that uh, they can come in at the right time when a uh, construction phase calls for the input. Uh, the medical equipments, uh, like as a layman, you know, you might think that okay, we just complete the building and do the fit out. But medical equipment work starts during about this time. You know, you have to run the pipes, the cables, all these things, and then uh, the actual probably you know, microscope or, you know, scalpel, whatever, it can come towards the uh, end of the second year or even the third year. Bana said due to the current fluctuation of the PNG Kina in the world market, they are restricted in funding. In the initial project, they were supposed to build at least 100 staff houses and 300 hospital beds. It has been cut short to half of the initial plan. However, Bana said this will not stop the project from being completed on time. Designs for this hospital was for uh, 300 bed hospital. But once again, you know, uh, cost factor limited us to build only uh, 150 beds. The building looks big and complicated from an architectural perspective. However, the physical design will be simple and all ground level, which will be user friendly to patients and hospital staff. Prime Minister Peter O'Neill has launched the project in 2017. Groundwork started in January this year. It is a three year project. Vasanata Yama, National MTV News, Mount Hagen.